Hey, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I show you how I make the video for Swifty's Legends of the Arena. I'm gonna show you how to match different perspectives in PvP video. Mercator and Hotted were dueling to the death, and I had both perspectives from each one of them, and I transitioned between the two. I'm gonna show you how to do this in Adobe Premiere, and then take the Premiere files into Adobe After Effects for color correction, sharpening, and compositing. And it turns out Premiere and After Effects work really well together. If you don't have both Premiere and After Effects, that's no problem because I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using After Effects. All right, let's get started. So here's all the video. I have a folder full of high resolution footage from both Mercator and Hotted. And all of this footage together is almost 100 gigabytes. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in all of Mercator's footage and I just stack them one next to the other. And I group them together so they all move together. Next, I bring in all of Hotted's footage and I just place it right on top. And I place them on top of each other. Now it's time to match them up. The best place to match these up is right at the kill shot. If you scroll all the way to the end of the footage, find the kill shot and we're gonna focus on that. Just go frame by frame, because we're gonna match this up just right. And in this shot, Mercator won the first round. So he got the kill on Hotted right before Hotted dies. He shapeshifts into travel form, and I'm gonna use that as the keyframe. So once I find it, I right click on the timeline, and I add a marker. So that marker is gonna mark the spot. I can toggle on and off the top layer, so I can see the layer below. I'm going to sync the bottom layer to the top kill shot. So I need to find the same spot in the bottom layer. Right before he dies, he goes into travel form. That's going to be a great feature to try to match. And I just drag the bottom layer left and right until I find that kill shot. And there I found it. Go through the timeline to make sure you're synced up. You can toggle the top layer on and off by clicking that eyeball to make sure that the top layer is synced with the bottom layer. And it is, it looks good. So now, I want to transition between the two. And I do this manually by adjusting the opacity. Well first, you can click on that FX box and make sure opacity is selected. Now I can drag up and down the opacity bar and that's going to, it's going to allow me to fade in and out. And when I drag it all the way down to zero, that means the top layer is hidden. So now we're just watching Mercator. So let's start off with Mercator. Once he delivers his opener, Hotted blinks out and starts to kite. This is where I want to transition to Hotted's perspective. So I use the point tool. You can press P on your keyboard or you can click on the point tool. You place down two keyframes. You move the right keyframe up to 100. This creates a transition. It fades the top layer in. And now this puts Hotted's perspective at 100%. So here, Hotted is kiting, delivering some pretty epic DPS. Mercator goes in Viz, and I want to see Mercator's perspective. Now Mercator's going to set up another opener on Hotted. So I'm going to place two keyframes on this opacity bar, and I'm going to drag the one to the right down. So that's going to fade out Hotted's perspective, and now we can see Mercator. I do the same thing throughout the footage, switching from one perspective to the other using opacity keyframes. I just do the same thing throughout the footage, transitioning from one perspective to another, using the opacity keyframes. That's all there is to it. So now let's take a look at how to match up footage in Adobe After Effects using just After Effects. You don't need Premiere. So basically what I've done is the same thing here. I've brought, I brought in two perspectives, Hotted and Mercator. This is the same arena. I colored Hotted's footage orange to match Druid and I colored Mercator's footage yellow to match Rogue. So here I find the kill shot. Right before Hotted dies, he shapeshifts into travel form. So I find that spot right there. Go to the right, and I click this little marker icon. It's gonna place a marker right there. And then I hide his footage, and I'm gonna match Mercator's footage to that marker. So I just click on those eyeballs right there. That hides Hotted's perspective. I select all of Merc's perspective, and I drag it to the left or the right to find that kill shot. There it is, where it goes into travel form. 
and I can toggle on and off the top layer to make sure that they match. And it looks like they do. So now the footage is synced up, I'll show you how to do transitions in After Effects. Again, I'm gonna use opacity. To get the opacity to show up in After Effects, select the layer and press T on your keyboard. That'll bring up the opacity tab. And now you can change the opacity right there. You can also pull down that little triangle and find opacity that way. I'm gonna select hot its perspective and I'm gonna set the opacity to zero because I wanna start off, just like before, I wanna start off with Mercator. Mercator's gonna set up for his opener. And after Mercator opens, I wanna to transition to hot its perspective. So what I do, right here is gonna be the start of the transition. So I click the opacity keyframe that drops down a little keyframe on the timeline. Then I move over about half a second or a second and I move the opacity to 100. That's gonna bring hot its perspective to full opacity. And if I preview this, you'll see it fades from zero to 100. Now I'm gonna go forward a little bit, and when I'm ready to transition back to Mercator's perspective, I drop down another keyframe by pressing that little dot right there, that drops down another keyframe. I move over to the right a little bit, about one second, and I decrease the opacity to zero. So now I'm going from 100 opacity to zero. This causes it to fade out. I go through all the footage, and I just fade in and out using opacity keyframes. That's all there is to it. So in the footage, you can see there's black bars at the top and the bottom. I wanna stretch the footage out. So basically what I do is I can select all the footage, right click on it, and select Fit to Comp. That's gonna fix all of them at once. It's gonna stretch them out a little bit, but the aspect ratio is pretty close, so it's not a big deal. It actually looks just fine. I'll be making more of these tutorials to show you guys how I did video effects for Legends of the Arena. Let me know what tutorial you wanna see next. Good luck and have fun.